What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. Just a quick video. I've had a couple comments from some people about the Darwin's grip. They think I'm like the spokesman for it, but I'm really not. Uh, I enjoy the product. They are still on my trimmers and my edger, as you can see. But some of the questions are as far as uh, where to put it, how I run it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to get into a couple things real quick and talk to you guys about some of the things I've learned since using this product, some of the pros and cons, and just give you guys a little bit more insight. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my Still FS 111RX. As you can see, I have the Darwin's grip on it. And something you will notice is I do not position the Darwin's grip straight over the top, perpendicular, whatever you want to call that. As you can see, I have it angled a little bit to my left side. I'm right-handed, which means my right hand's on the trigger. My left hand is on the handle. So I have it a little bit out to the left side, and I'll give you my reasons for that. Now, excuse the way it looks out here. Obviously, we've had so much rain in the last three days. I think they said 10 to 12 inches in the last three days. So I'm, I still got a lot of mowing I'm trying to catch up with. But the main reason I pull this out to my left side is that way I'm not crossed my body all the time. As you guys know, holding onto the stock trimmer, going down fence lines, your hands kind of get all discombobulated in your body and your cross arm. So now I can walk down fence lines with my hands wide open. I don't have to turn my body over. I can walk straight and go down a fence line. As you can see, my hands aren't crossed over as they would be if I was having to hold onto the this and go down the fence line. So something I've noticed a lot is pulling this outside my body gives me a lot more room and a lot more comfortable to use all day. And another really big part to the Darwin's grip is that it's taken me a couple weeks to really get used to what I'm doing. Getting the angle correct the way I need it to be and things like that. It takes a minute to get it set up exactly how it needs to be. But once you get it all set up, the proper angle for what you need, it's extremely comfortable. But with that comfort does come a couple things. All day long mowing and trimming without the Darwin's grip, just with the stock trimmer, I would come home and have some back pains and things like that, just some aggravations from the way you have to hold the trimmer and the way you trim all day. But with the Darwin's grip, I have eliminated those lower back issues throughout the day. But something I have noticed is a little bit more shoulder and arm pain. And to me, the main reason for that shoulder and arm pain is just gonna be running something at a different angle you're kind of not used to. So you gotta kind of build new muscles up, new muscle memory for some of the stuff you're doing. Is it a deal breaker? No, but what it kind of did is it took my lower back and back issues away and put them into my arms, which is okay with me because it's easier for me to build my arms and be stronger with my arms throughout the day than it is the annoyance of coming home and having your back sore all the time. So yeah, guys, like I said, not much to it. Just a quick video. Some of the things I wanted to show you because I did get comments on it. One of the main things is I do not run the handle perpendicular over the top like the stock handle is. I keep mine outside. It's a little bit more comfortable to have my hands apart, a little bit more spread out. So that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, guys, not much to it. Just like I said, it's one of those products that's not foolproof. It's one of those products you have to make your own. You have to find the right angle and what's set up for you, just like anything else. It's kind of like adjusting your car seats. It gets comfortable to you, but not to someone else. So there it is, guys. That's the Darwin's Grip. If you're interested in purchasing this product, check out the links in the description. If you use my code, you can save yourself 10% off. I don't know if he has them back in stock or if he's still doing pre-orders. When I did the initial video, man, you guys destroyed him, man. You guys purchased so many. Man, it became overwhelming. He sent me a bunch of messages about it, which is awesome, man. I'm glad you guys thought the product was cool. That's super cool for him and his business. Like I said, there will be a link in the description. To me, it's a very cool product. I love innovation. I love uh, people that kind of make things their own. When you have a problem, everybody can complain about it. Some people try to solve it. So we actually have a guy who has tried to solve it, which is awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, don't take my stuff into consideration for what you're doing. This is just what I do. Stuff I found out for what I'm doing. You got to make it your own, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Check your body.
Oh, 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 oh,